So I'm also going to do early October. So this is October 1st to 7th and you know I was getting, I've said before that one of my biggest barriers for doing Project Life and keeping up to date on it is that I hate making title cards. I find them really obnoxious to make. Like I find them, they're boring and I don't want to spend a lot of time making nice designs on my title cards. I'd rather spend time decorating my pictures and my journaling. So what I've decided to do is to do really plain title cards just using the Becky Higgins um, title cards that now that I have three sets I should have plenty to choose from so that it always looks nice. Um, and I'm really tired of going through and stamping out the words for every month or getting letter stickers for the words for every month. And I couldn't really find any um, stamps for months of the year that I liked. There's lots of days of the week stamp sets, but there's not many month stamp sets. But I did find this one. I ordered it on Etsy. Um, and I can't remember the shop. It was just like a one-off. I didn't like anything else that they were selling. Um, but they had these month stamps. And they're actually perfect. They fit perfectly. That's October. It's not capitalized, which is a bit of a... Like, I, I like it capitalized just because I'm like that. Um, and the numbers are quite a bit bigger than the letters. But other than that, it's really nice. Like, I like that it's just a plain, normal serif font. Like, it looks like a computer font or something. So I really like that. And so I bought these. They were super cheap. I think they were like four bucks or something. Like, I can never find. And they're photopolymer. So I was pretty pleased with that purchase and I've been using these a lot and at the same time when I was searching month stamps I couldn't find it and everything is like really fancy and in that like with flourishes on all of the little like at the ends of the letters and stuff but I found this one now this one is not photopolymer um, yeah I don't have anything to show you this um, and it's got like a it's for making your own calendar but I'll never do that I find I, I just will never do that um, it's not photopolymer, so it's not like the best quality stamp, but I do really like the font. And it was also three or four dollars, so, um, you know, you can't go wrong with three or four dollars. Even if I use it a couple times, it's worth it to me. So, I love that font, though. So, those are some new Project Life acquisitions for me, and I just keep them right there with my letter sticker, with my letter stamps. Um, so... This is a Becky Higgins Clementine card with just October 1st to 7th stamped out on it. Um, this is a Clementine card, journaling card that folds down the middle. I never fold them as I think I just mentioned. Um, I put a strip of um, glitter tape down the center and then I used Becky Higgins arrows to point at what that journaling was about. So this journaling is about Livy. Every day when she gets off the bus she shimmies up that sign bangs the stop sign with the palm of her hand and then shimmies back down like a fireman. <laughs> uh, it's really, really high. You can't tell because I'm like standing and take, and I'm also holding the camera up because I wanted to get a picture of both the stop sign and her, but she's like way high off the ground there. Um, so that's that. Um, so yeah, the center the center column here is, this is a Becky Higgins card, that's a photo, that's a photo of a screenshot, and that's a photo. Um, and when I print my photos, I just print them at 4 by 3 and then I have to trim them down a bit so that they fit. Um, so on this one, I just wrote planning my, in my own handwriting. Um, Christmas is with Lily B Designs um, letter stickers. And then Village is with those, um, I think they're called Sticky Keys by October Afternoon. I never use those, but a set came in a kit. And then I just layered some washi tape. This is washi tape that came in the Studio Calico kit this month. And then this is just some grid um, washi tape. And I um, stapled a wood veneer on. I love that you can staple wood veneers. And this is me in early October. I start planning my Christmas village because I'm a little bit obsessed with my Christmas village. I love it. I get a lot of joy from it. So um, this is me just planning out my table. I ended up not going, I was going to put two tables together there, but I ended up going with just a six foot table. So what I did was I actually um, 
I have the measurements for all of my buildings and I made it to scale so that I could see how what, like what everything was going to look like. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, and then this is a photo. I already explained the photo. This is a screen cap of a text message that I got from Bell saying that I qualified for an update on my phone and this came out um, probably two weeks after the iPhone came out. No, October 4th. So it would have been just a couple of days. It felt like two weeks. A couple of days after the iPhone 5 came out and I was kind of back and forth about whether I was going to get the iPhone 5 and then I was like yeah I don't qualify for an upgrade and I don't want to pay that much money for it so I decided not to get it and then I got this text message that says that I did qualify for an upgrade so the next day we went out and got an iPhone 5 because I was really wanting one because the camera is so much better and I have been not not enjoying the camera on my iPhone 4 at all because I didn't have the 4s I just had the 4 anyways so I just took a picture of myself in the bathroom so with, with the iPhone it kind of like repeats I love those photos um, I just wrote iPhone 5 just so I can remember someday in the future and that's just a Becky Higgins arrow so the bottom is just two photos this is a picture of the girls in the iPhone store in the Apple store and that's Scott talking to um, one of the I guess they're called geniuses, um, the people who work at the at the Apple store anyways. So I thought this was kind of a cool picture. It's very, you know, sleek, everything is shiny, and the girls are really involved in what they were doing on the iPads. And then after we went to the Apple store, we met Scott's sister at Swiss Chalet for um, supper because she was coming with us to New Glasgow the next day. So I just used these are October afternoon mini market stickers, and these are Prima stickers. So that is the first part of that week and then I'll finish off this week and then I'll um, do another video for mid-October. These um, are just Becky Higgins month dividers from the Clementine collection and I really like having these um, when I go back to look at my, my um, project life. It's nice having them ordered. You can just kind of flip to the tab of where you want to go. So here's the other half of that spread. Um, so it's so it's um, photo, 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 photo in the four by six ones, and then these are all Becky Higgins cards, and they're all from the Clementine collection along the middle. So I didn't do anything to these photos. That is a picture of like from my bed when I'm laying on my pillow. This is the view that I have out my window and I just thought it was really pretty. The leaves are just starting to turn, mostly green, but it's just starting to get a bit of orangey, yellowy hues to it. And the sun was rising and it was actually a lot prettier than what it looks in this picture, but um, I couldn't capture it very well. But anyways, and then this is just a picture and the dog is in it. So I, I liked this picture for that reason, even though it's kind of dimly lit. Um, it shows like the table and some of the people who are there, so. At Thanksgiving at my mother-in-law's and so here I just did some it's not really journaling it's just like a, an explanation for each of those photos um, so it says you know the view from my window and then it says pinkies up this is a picture of Scott in his New York City t-shirt and he's drinking tea from a fancy teacup and then this is a picture of the kids playing with their niece, or no, with their cousin, with my niece, their cousin. Um, and this is an Amy Tangerine um, sticker. I'm just trying to use more of those stickers that I can't figure out a use for a layout, um, but that I still really like. So I just put that there. These are Becky Higgins arrows. I'm gonna be so heartbroken when they're gone. I've been hoarding them, so I'm trying to use them. Um, this is just a picture of the dinner table all set and ready, and I just put some washi tape, just random washi tape. There's no reason for there to be numbers, and a little bit of journaling. It actually says, like, where and what, so, so I did my journaling around that. Um, and then on this card, I just have a 2 by 3 photo, same as that, um, and I ran some washi tape below it and did some journaling on the lines. And this is a Becky Higgins journaling card. And then on this, also Becky Higgins journaling card, I did my journaling. And um, it's kind of like the same journaling goes for both of these two pictures. So um, I put, there was a space here, so I just put one of those Amy Tangerine um, word sticker, phrase stickers. And then these are arrow stamps from the um, Studio Calico card kit. I think it's from the September one. 
and I love these arrows so I've been using these in place of some of the Becky Higgins arrows <clears throat> so that is early October so I'm gonna start another video for the next spread